First day of the beginning of the tour, first show in Camden. Get your ass down to the show. Doing all that shit. Why? I'm just asking. You, you guys I'd are say, you I guys are younger than I am. So just tell me why. <laughs> what if James Brown okay. didn't feel good? Yeah, but what if he didn't feel good? <laughs> what if the devil never went down? To yeah, Georgia? if he didn't, if the devil never went down to Georgia, what then? What then? See, I, whoever started posting that, that is brilliant. I love things like that. What if James That's Brown? That's why What if James awesome. Brown didn't feel good? What? Are, where? Where? Where are we now? Okay. But see, yeah, you see what I'm saying? I don't. I don't do any of that. I, I, you know. You do real life. Oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> well, at least as far as I can, kind of. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, I'm a. I'm a crusty, craggy old dinosaur. You know. I started playing guitar in 1964. You know, back in back before there were. You kids with the cell phones and the, and the technology shit, and, the, and the you Twitter and the iFace and the <laughs> you Twitter. <laughs> That would have been me, Tommy, Ray, Frank, uh, Steve, I, uh, let's see, me, Tommy, Ed, no, no, me, Tommy, no Steve, no, no Ed, Steve, Ray, Artie, and Artie, and Vinny. So, yeah. 
my God, what, oh, that was the stupidest, that was the stupidest night we ever did, man. I mean, and we were laughing, we were laughing for two days after that. We were laughing for at least two more days after that. Oh, my God. Where was that? Nantes. 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 Mm-hmm. And I'm pretty sure it was 80. I'm pretty sure it was 80 because Tommy was there. And we were given a clinic for Pierre Velez. We were giving you a clinic for Pierre Boulez who was sitting up in the up in the nosebleed seats. Right. Oh, and that was one of those I was just giving an example of if you're really, really tired, give give in to the, to the stupid. Okay, and that was oh and that carries you through. Oh dude, it was the funniest show we ever did, ever. In life. Ever. It was the funniest show I ever did with Frank. Ever. And we were both we were, we were both fucked up. Like I said, flute, champagne flute glasses, half full, half of the half, half espresso, and half Remy Martin. Half, I'm talking about. Oh man, we were so fucked up. I, I, I just could not believe it. We were, we were just. It was stupid. It was stupid. Yes, my friends. Yes. That's right. Wait, wait, we haven't had any Indian food yet. How, when, how did that start? Maybe because we haven't had any Indian food yet. No, no, no. We, we, we've been everybody this week, so we leave no, we leave, we, we leave no, uh, no turn on stone. No race on turn. No, no, no turn on stone. <laughs> that's pretty much it. That's pretty much everything. No, we leave no turn on stone. I know exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> I wish we did. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, where, where, where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that? We like, have absolutely what can, what no idea I, what, what the why next song is. Why should I let you guys is? know what you're going to do? Why should I let you guys know what you're going to do? That way, I, Volcano Man, can't have my fun. So, I can't, I can't have my fun. Unless you don't know what you're going to do. Ready? One, two, one, two, three, four. Yes, my I didn't really know Zappa before I went on tour with the band, actually before I was asked to do the audition. I knew Joe's Garage and Apostrophe, which I really loved, but you know, I heard it and yeah, I, I loved it and then I didn't listen too much to it. Then when I was asked for uh, Zapatka, I got like 28 tracks and Man, I didn't even know half of it. I was like, fuck, man, how am I going to do this? It's like a million tracks. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just started listening to it. And, and yeah, I figured, fuck, it's pretty cool, man, Zappa. It's, it's really, 
It's crazy, and I knew all the best the best drummers ever played on those records, like you know Vini, Terry Bozio, Chad Wackham, Wackerman. So uh, yeah, and I just love to study those drummers. So yeah, anyway, I I just started by writing down all the songs, just like making sheets of them and then learning them by uh, just playing them over and over and over. Yeah, the tour went great, man. The tour was awesome. I mean, everyone in the band is just amazing, and just play with those guys is is their shit, you know. And they're, yeah, everyone plays good and is very nice. That's also important. And I, at first, I was a bit concerned, like, ah, oh, you know, Ike Willis, you know, he's big and uh, but then I met him, and when I saw him first, it was like, ah, oh, fuck, this guy is so chill. He's He's so friendly and he's doing everything for you to be comfortable on stage. And even when he's directing, you know, it's it's so clear, it helps you and it's yeah, you know you know exactly where you have to stop, where you have to, you know. So the direction is super clear. And that's great. And dude, I could not wait to see Jimmy. I wanted to see Jimmy so bad. And the next thing I knew, um, they request the, the Band of Gypsies album was released. But it was at the same time they announced the Band of Gypsies, they also announced that Jimmy had just died. Dude, ah, uh, ah, uh, really pissed me off. Your dream. you 
well. My mom and dad grew up with Miles Davis mm -hmm. and Lou Rawls and Tina Turner and shit. And they used to come to my house, but I wanted to see Jimmy. And once I missed Jimmy, once he died, <laughs> I made up my mind. I'm going to get, I'm going to get good at this guitar thing. I want to be in this business. And next, I, I, and I'm not going to miss anybody else. Not if I can help it. Not if I can help it. I'm not going to miss anybody. You know, I want to meet these guys. I want to meet Carlos Santana and blah, blah, blah. And I did. Like I said, that's why I call him Uncle Carlos. Just like I'm your Uncle Ike, he's my Uncle Carlos. Okay? Uncle Sting, my boy. Okay? There are certain people, Todd Rundgren, my brother, Todd. See, so when I have a chance to meet people, I make sure I'm there. Okay. Steve Vai is also one of his sons. Oh yeah. Steve is one of my Steve is one of my first sons. Uncle Steve. <laughs> yes, Steve. that's your Uncle Steve. But Steve is one of my first Duh. sons. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a big family, man. Mm-hmm. Really. Uncle Vinny. We have a huge family there, buddy. Vinny. Yeah. We have a huge family. No, speaking of Bobby Martin. Because Bobby called me at the airport while I was waiting to come to fly out here. Yeah. Okay. Now that I forgot to tell you about that. What, yeah. Just checking in. Just checking in. Ike, what are you doing? Oh, I'm on my way to I'm on my way to Amsterdam again. <laughs> That's right. I forgot to, I, I didn't tell you that fact. Bobby called me while I was sitting at LAX getting waiting to get on my plane. Mm-hmm. He goes, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm heading over to Amsterdam. He goes, I want to play with Zap and the boys. I went, minds drift back to the early days right before Reagan uh, made his big run. Well, well, welcome to that. Well, well. Let's ask ourselves, what was he doing during the war? <laughs> the only thing he's got is friends in high places, friends with money, and people who feed him stuff to say. I mean, let's be honest about it. It always amazes me that when a government is formed, and they have all these computers and they have smart people working for them to figure out things to do and how to organize stuff that they always forget the kids. They always forget. They forget how much energy they have and they forget how much damage they can do. When you forget the kids, your government is in danger because the kids can suddenly give you a big surprise. I think most people in the States don't realize anything. I don't think they have the faintest idea what's going on outside of their neighborhoods. Most of them are too baffled to even figure out that the choice between Tweedledum and Tweedledee, which is being offered this November, is as serious as it is. Right. Because there's so many baffling alternative things that are thrown at them on television. Sure. The people, my people are so smart. And you know what else they say about my people? The polls. They say, I have the most loyal people. Did you ever see that? where I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters, okay? 
Why don't you just go down and register to vote so that you can reevaluate the contract of all of those people who are in office right now who don't care about you as a person and only think of the people in the 18-year-old age bracket as a consumer group. A, take the opportunity to let those people who are giving you a bad time now, let them have the bad time tomorrow. Take the spoon out of your nose, take the needle out of your arm, take the beer out of your mouth, and go vote. You know what I mean? Vote. Register and vote like a beast. Because if you don't, there's going to be people changing your life in a way that you won't enjoy. So I see him. I say, Frank, I have no interest in your polling and your focus groups. I just, it's not, by the time you do your group, the deal will be dead, assuming I'm doing deals, which I'm not doing anymore because I'm running for president. So I told him no. And now every time I see a poll, it's negative. I mean, the guy's a lightweight. Government as an institution is uniformly bad worldwide. It may be the only thing that binds all nations together, is the incompetence of all of their governments. It's not that they make you think they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're talking about. And that's the problem with American politics. Unions are the mafia, which is the CIA, which is the Catholic Church, which is the government, which is, what's the difference? It's corrupt. It's the same guys pulling these strings, you know, and one, one day pulls a string and whoo, this lamp comes out. You know, the next day pulls a string and there's a missile coming out.
Emil on lead guitar. <laughs> Zappa's music began when I was studying at the conservatory in Italy. But at that time I was playing double bass, so a lot of classical music. But anyway, a teacher of mine asked me to join an eternal band there, and they were playing music by Frank Zappa. This band was called Mud Shark. And uh, so I accepted immediately. And then I literally fell in love with this kind, with that kind of, kind of music because I never heard such beautiful shit. Really, it was amazing. And that's why I really love Frank Zappa's music. Jazz and all these guys were. If you went in there, I would, I would always look at album covers. I was fascinated by album covers and stuff. So, so the, these guys in Papa Jazz were playing Frank Zappa all day and talking about it. And I, I had no idea. I didn't know his music, but I just that's when I first saw Frank Zappa. I was 14 and I heard Token for the first time. It was the first album. Uh, I think it was the. the called Cheap Thrills album or something, but I was always, you know, I'm a, I'm a songwriter, I was always writing songs, so I was always busy with, with my other stuff, with my own stuff. In one period I was really into Steve Fay, and uh, it's kind of funny, uh, I came across the Flexible album, and what I heard is something like uh, Frank Sapp uh, gave Steve some eight track recording equipment, he recorded Flexible or something, but Flexible album was a huge inspiration for me musically and, uh, and when I heard that I got way more into Zap, I was going like, and I especially with uh, Ray White and Ike Willis, the vocals, uh, the guitar playing and everything. First time I got to see Ike Willis was actually after I went to a Steve Fai master class and it was like a week later I was going to see Zapatica with uh, Ike Willis. I told Steve after the master class I said I'm going to see Ike Willis and he just he froze, he almost fainted, he was like wow really and he said well tell Ike I said hi which I did, it was a week later I saw Ike 
asked him, and then Mark asked me if I wanted to do audition because they needed a new guitar player, which yeah, I was came out of nowhere, so I was really happy. This tour with Ike was, it was amazing, and I'm so glad now we got great uh, we got a great band, great musicians. Everybody's nice. I love Ike, you know. He, I love his guitar playing. His music, his two albums are amazing, and uh, it was just really wonderful to be able to to be on stage with him. And uh, same with Jeff Holly, and I met Twister also. And it's just nice to, to Tom Fowler, all these guys. You know, you get to meet them, uh, and it's really amazing. And the second or third show was in Plymouth or something, and then that's when I decided, you know, I gotta I gotta record everything. I want to film this, and you know like a diary or something and turn out to be a road movie at the end. So, but I can't wait to go on tour again. I can't wait to to play with Ike again and with the boys. It's really nice. Really awesome. It's Uncle Ike's experimental time because it's the last show of the tour. And besides, I want to play this fucking song. stays where I want it to stay. You know where I learned that from? Carlos Santana. And Jimi Hendrix. It's like, this is what you do with beats. This is how you get feedback wherever you want it. Feedback is harmonic distortion. Uncle Carlos's advice and Uncle Jimmy's advice, I can get feedback on any note, on any amp, any time. On any stage. On any stage. Some people have to put, they, they check it at sound check and then they put an X on the floor. Right. So they can, so so they can, can go to the spot. The spot to get their feedback. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah man. man. <laughs> really. It's all about the spot. Really? Oh, so many you have big, to be, you have to be, super guitar players. You have to be in a certain <coughs> area as opposed to vis be your amp. I can't get it. No. That's why, when you have a see, that's why you notice I insist on tube amps. Okay. Harmonic distortion. Vacuum tubes. Okay? That's why you notice on like on watermelon or whatever, I'll go... I'll lean right over here and then kind of readjust until it stays yeah. where I want it to Every stay. Every time I'm like, oh shit, what do I run with? Yeah, no, no, I'm just going like, <laughs> no, he's just finding that spot. Yeah, 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 I'm looking for my spot. Well, playing with 
Drake um, and the other guys the last 10 years or so, or 9 years, yeah it's been amazing. It's been like a huge learning curve, you know, and then also for the band trying to f always go to another level, make the show better, find, you know, musicians that can perform better and, and uh, you know, play to a higher level. So it's been really cool. And now, uh, yeah, this tour seems finally we got the pieces that the jigsaw right. Everything fits real nice. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Well, you know, I grew up um, as a teenager <laughs> listening to Frank's albums and you know, my mom, she wasn't too happy about me playing that stuff in the house. So I used to have to do it kind of in secret. And, uh, you know, growing up with Ike's voice. And now, yeah, it's crazy. Sometimes I, I look across the stage and there's Ike or Danny or, you know, Jeff Holly or Twister or someone uh, like a Zappanale, Edman as well. Yeah, it's crazy to be on stage with these guys and, and to learn from them. And, and um, yeah, to get the insight that, that only they can give, it's, uh, yeah, it makes you feel quite blessed. So I'm very happy and uh, feel very, very grateful for all of that. Anything good inside of you, if there is, I really want to know, is there anything good inside of you? If there is, I really want to know, is there anything good inside of you? If there is, I really want to know, is there, is there anything good inside of you? Uh, heard Zappa. I didn't even know it was Frank Zappa. I, did, I heard it on the radio. It was some kind of uh, program that they uh, uh, showed Frank Zappa. I just heard his music, and I, as soon as I heard it, I wanted to record it with my little cassette deck. Uh, and it was uh, yeah because the music was so great. So. Uh, yeah, obviously after a while I started uh, buying his records, like uh, Zappa in New York, and uh, that was a great piece of music. And uh, yeah, before you know it, I'm uh, with my two brothers on the, on the show uh, 1980 in the Hoy Hall. Ike Willis is like 100 meters away, uh, enjoying that show, uh, big time, yeah. And now uh, I get to play with the same Ike Willis. Um, I've been on six tours with him already. 
which is, uh, well, unimaginable uh, to me actually, because, uh, yeah, I, I play the bass guitar. And I, I'd like to play the bass guitar along with, with, with the music I love. And in Zappa's case, it's more, it used to be like uh, I go to like three minutes into a song and then I said, well, fuck it, that's too hard. <laughs> but now I really get to uh, have to play it. And you come so into contact with that music of Frank Zappa, it is uh, unimaginable. How, uh, yeah, the good, great compositions he's made and uh, how everything slots together in this music. So, two, three, four. So glad to be to be in this uh, band, Zapatica. To be able to uh, to push myself uh, to be to be able to play that music that Frank Zappa wrote. It's an honor, really. Tour Ike's uh, bridge totally was screwed up, and I got, I got to got to adjust. Uh, I was going to fix that, and the only thing I forgot was to pull the strings. I forgot to pull the strings. It was just stupid. No, I, I grew up with watching Frank. 
do that. Okay? No, no, no. Stretch, stretch those subjects. Time to hit for the Joe's Garage album, boys and girls. That's right, we had another song planned, which was also for the Joe's Garage album, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not doing it, I tell you. So, two, three, four. Yeah. 
Actually looking for a new drummer. Right. You know, See, two weeks and, later, and I, yeah. Yeah, I and I think he got the chops. And then I sent him a list. Yeah. And he was like, wow, man, this is like a lot of fucking shit. I just, eh, I'll, it's only 34 songs. I had to, <laughs> I had to learn 300 my uh, first month. 20. Uh, I had to learn 300 songs my first month. Nah, it's not that. Not, it's not that much. You have to tell me how to copy and paste. Okay. I used to know how to do that. Okay, so let's say we want this. So we hold it, hold it, hold it down. Bring this over so I can see what you're doing. So, uh, when Frank comes in, I, I, a lot of it's a blur. You gotta understand. Frank says, okay, this and this was, but see, I was already learning songs before I was hired. Yeah, because you uh, liked it. Yeah, well, that's the thing. He didn't get around to auditioning me until he felt like auditioning me. But I was still learning songs. So, I mean, my first week, my first week, let's see, I had a stack of, he handed me a stack of uh, lyrics and this thick, which, in, which included shit from Freak Out all the way up until Shake Your Booty at the yeah, time, yeah. Which, was, which was the latest album at the time. So, uh, this is before Joe's Garage. Well, yeah, year before. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I was in the band a year before we recorded Joe's Garage. Yeah, Shaker yeah. Booty was the album before Joe's. I met Frank during the Shaker Booty tour. Ah, okay. Okay, okay? that's the thing, and that, that's that's why he was saying, "Well, I'm going to look. I, I need a, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not satisfied with." And was that the, the first front album you had to learn because it was the current one? Oh no, no. Actually, see, that's the thing. That's the funny part. He never made me learn the Shake Your Booty album. Oh no? He made me learn, he, he told me I, I had to learn assholes.
of you might not agree. But she probably likes a lot of misery. Think a while and you will see. Broken out of a rattle, and you're an asshole. Broken out of a rattle, and you're an asshole too. What you gonna do? You're an asshole. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken out of a rattle, and you're an asshole. Maybe you think you're a lonely guy. Maybe you think you're too tough to cry. Just to give it a try I had to learn flakes. Flakes was one of the first tunes I had to learn. I, I had to learn individual songs, but he never made he never had me learn the entire Shaker Booty album. Now I had to learn just another band from LA, Billy the Mountain and Magdalena. I had to learn 200 motels. I had to learn uh, Gregory Peckery. I had to learn apostrophe. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, all right, the classic. Well, well, the thing is, no, no, he would just, he would just say, you know, I think it'd be a good idea if you learned apostrophe this week. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Well, yeah. kind of like you said to us the other day, I think it's a good idea to... Zombie wolf. Wah, wah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's about you guys are ready. It, 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 yeah, but see, that, I, I understand what he meant now, by now, now. You see what I'm saying? You know, it is a good idea too because based on what I've seen and heard of you guys' abilities and your what you have up here, I want Inca Rose, I want Zombie Wolf, I want sinister footwear, I want uh, Well, it's time for it's time for this band to move up to the next level. But it's over in nine. Okay. We're just going for the main, right? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's Saturday. Yeah, we were we had lunch this afternoon with those men. Yeah, it's a satay. You're gonna have satay. Satay. Alright, so I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna but yeah, I would like to play Yellow Snow. Nobody plays it, just, it's just like Token. Nobody, or cy Cyborg. Oh, I wanna play okay, that. Okay, so we are, I we will, so. well, we will do Cyborg. Mm -hmm. So just yeah. make your list. Nobody okay. does Token, man. That's what it's great. Make your, make your list. Great to do cyborg it. is That's one. Cool. To, uh, 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 like I said, Zombie Wolf, uh, Inca Roads, uh, Dynamo Yellow, Hum, Dynamo Hum, Hum Yellow yeah, Snow, Uncle Remus, I, Uncle Remus, oh, definitely Uncle Remus, Yo Mama, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Yo Mama, oh yeah, we have a deal already on Yo Mama, okay, yeah, yeah, Yo Mama, oh, indeed, <laughs> you see what I'm saying, we've got three guitar players, we have to play Yo Mama, okay, oh, we gotta yeah, play Yo Mama, solo, yeah. we got three guitar oh, players, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it would be, it would be a, a sin, not to not to play them. Okay. It would be a it sin. Be a sin. <laughs> and as the man stop it. And as the man says, F sharp minor. <laughs>
Don't shut that down. When I go home, see, I don't just go home. I just go elsewhere because sooner or later, within a month, I have I've, I've got another gig with one of my other bands playing the tunes that you guys aren't playing. See, I've got 15 Zappa tribute bands, and each band, everybody plays the same stuff, but di at different stages of their development. See, it's always at different stages of their development. Some bands can't play Yellowstone. Some bands can't do Zombie Wolf, like this yeah, I mean, one. I, yet. Okay, yet. I know you guys can play Zombie Wolf. Okay, see what I'm saying? No, no Cosmic Debris, no Montana, no, not even, no Andy, no Dirty Love, no Magic Fingers. That's the, that's the, that's the kindergarten stuff. Okay. It's time for you guys to start playing the real shit. All right. Okay, it's time for this band to start playing the real shit. Fair enough. Do you know how many times I've played Zombie, I mean, a Dirty Love and Cosmic Debris yeah. and Montana? Dude, I've been playing this shit I play this shit every fucking day for, since 1978. Yeah, I know. Time to move on. You know? See, that's the thing. Now, now it's time for this band to get into the detail work. See, because it's all about the, all the little, the little tiny details. Okay? And they're really not, they're really not any more difficult than any. They're, 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 they're none of them are as any any more difficult than the other ones. Just some of them have a few more notes in them. Okay? Uh, zombie Wolf. Okay? Okay? You just plug in the pieces. That's all. Easy. Easy. Trust me. Easy. So I had an incredible tour with these guys, with Zapatica and of course with the master, maestro, Ike Willis. Oh man, uh, it was so incredible because, yeah, Ike has such a big world that you can share it with him on stage and even you know, on the car together. Just was so a perfect, perfect um, atmosphere. So I enjoy very much to be on tour with these guys, to be on stage with, the, with these guys, and even my Zapatica's brothers. Oh man, this year was amazing. We had a, just a very good um, contact each other, just a very relation, good relation each other, and I love that. So I can't wait to play to the next tour, guys. it down in a little white box that the Welsh could sell up town. But by myself I wouldn't have no boss cause I'd be raising my lonely ditto floss. Raising my lonely ditto floss. Raising my lonely ditto floss. I just make rubies and bees up to somebody else. How about you over there? How about then, on the other hand, I would keep the wax belted down, pluck the floss, and switch it around, cause I'd have me a crop, and it'd be on top, that's why I'm moving to Montana, or Wales. Yep. 
Take it away. Republicans in my hand, every other Wrangler would say, I was mighty grand, but by myself I wouldn't have no boss, cause I'd be raising my lonely dance of love. Take it away. Raising Just me and the pygmy pony over by the dental claws bush. And then I might just jump back on and ride like a ninja poop into the dodge of Montana. Move into Montana soon. Move into Montana soon. Move into Talk, the way they talk was, 
How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, also what I said to Osman, um, you know, any of these things, like if you are unsure of like when we're, when we're learning them or rehearsing them, just get on the messenger. Yeah, Ask copy. your uncle Ike. Okay? Copy. Copy. It's great. Okay. You need, if there's something you need to know, copy. Yeah. Thanks. You know, help. Yeah. That's very helpful. Yeah. That's, uh, that's I'm sorry, he, call call me on this, me, call will, me on this thing. He'll get yeah. right back to you, you know. If he's yeah. not there, I'll get right back Well, that's back what I'm saying. You. If you just get me on the video call thing, if I'm there, I'll... Yeah. Right. You, you need to talk to me? Talk it's to me. Elf Boy. Right, right. I am Elf. It is Elf Boy. What is it now, Elf Boy? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you gotta, you know? Yeah, yeah the Elf yeah, Boy yeah. goes to the Troll King for it. Advice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's how it is. That's how it is. So don't, will, don't, will, don't be afraid to ask. You know, you're part of the family now, so don't be. You too. Oh, you, yes, sir. You. Thank you. Don't be afraid I have a lot to of ask. Questions. And <laughs> I also, a lot of so, all right. So Not right now, no. right now, since we're stepping, since every, since this band is stepping, it, it's t now this band is finally going to make the transition to the next level, which is what I expect. Level up. Then, well, no, the, 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 to 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 the level of my other bands. Okay. Mm. I don't. I mean, I had. I, I have 15 Zappa Tribune bands, but I don't travel with all 15 anymore. Okay? And that's a, that's my decision. I, I, I decided to do that for reasons of my own. Yeah. Okay? It's time for it be, because what I've done was over the years, I will turn around and stop touring with certain bands in order to bring, in order to bring along and improve certain other bands. Like, now, it's your turn. Okay? Yes, sir. Now it's your turn. Not your That's turn. a nice ending, right? Well, come on. <laughs> and I'm doing it, and I'm doing it for my brother because he, after ten years of going through the shit that he went, through, that that we've been going through with this, with what but we've gone through, but we've gone through. Yeah, no, it's it, it's his turn. It's yeah. his turn. Now he's got the time. Now we have the time, and now we've got the people that can actually pull it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's your first tour. Good. Smashed it. It's your first tour. Smashed it. Very good. Smashed it. Do the next one. Yeah, yeah, and the next ones.
guidance of like this. Get on the and sprint. <laughs>
get old. Well, I hope I get old. I really don't want to die young. <laughs> uh, no, 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 don't die either. No, okay. Well, I have no, to no, stay no. Young and, don't die. and stay alive first, and then just don't get old. Well, sure, with all the new technology. Yeah, 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 but this is what I'm saying. You got a better chance than we do. You got a better chance than we do. Maybe they'll come up with a solution, you know, long after I'm gone. So. The Roxy? The Roxy as in Roxy and elsewhere. There it is. 
it was a rainbow right next door. Wow. So let's have Ike and Denise underneath the sign at the Roxy. Yeah. On Love Island. Hi. Love Island presents the, the Roxy. Roxy. What do I like about playing with this version of Zapatica? It's like... It's like... Day, day to night. Okay, it's it's this band. We've been with I've been with this band for ten years, and it's like night and day. This this is um, I'm so proud of these kids, and they are kids. A most amazing transformation, and also let me tell you something, uh, Emil, Osman, and uh, 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 Xander, you guys have and you. You guys have saved Mark's sanity, okay? And this was this is very very important because if this band didn't work out, he wasn't going to do this anymore, okay? And I didn't want to see that happen. And this is the biggest surprise for me with this band. This is this is the, the most amazing transformation I've ever seen, and we will do this many more times again. Raise it up.